Why do other professions, why, are we, why does the current raft of veterinarians, dentists, lawyers who are unselectively entering into careers, why are they treated differently to doctors? I call for, in the interest of equality, for those tests to either be removed from medicine or introduced across the board. The argument as well that doctors should be chosen based on some innate ability of communication or caring is nonsense, and I believe based on quite flimsy evidence. The doctor-patient relationship, as everybody in this room knows, is far too complex and precious an entity to be left up to innate ability. It is a skill of medicine the same as clinical diagnosis and treatment that has to be learned and honed over many years. And I need to change a bit. And for those very rare graduates who are unable to learn that skill, of which there are very few, there are still many places within the medical field where they can contribute to the chain of healthcare. I also feel that as this variety of roles and personalities is one of the core strengths of the Irish medical organisation. Being the only representative body for doctors that covers doctors at all points of their careers, across all craft groups and all specialties. In this era of more specialised medicine, it is very easy for us all to fall within our own personal silos and into our own personal groups. However, I feel the IMO can play a vital role in Irish medicine in allowing doctors from all groups to intermingle. This organisation can derive great strength in this unity. I believe that unity will be a critical part of the renewal agenda which has started at this AGM and will continue over the next 12 months. This organisation needs again to become a melting pot where doctors of different specialities and grades can mix both professionally and socially. This mixing, I feel, can only be of benefit to our own careers and to our patients. One of the other critical roles of this organisation that I feel often gets overlooked from time to time is our dedication to the improvement of science of medical practice through the publication of the Irish Medical Journal. This organisation has proudly run the journal for a long number of years and it remains one of the few peer-reviewed journals within Ireland. Great thanks must go to Dr Murphy and his team who have managed consistently, month after month, to publish a top quality journal highlighting the pinnacle of Irish research. Medicine, as I have said previously, is an applied science. But it is a science that needs to be applied with compassion, empathy and humanity. However, it must also constantly be working using the scientific principles and methods. And neither one nor the other should ever take precedence, as it must always remain a balance between the two. Because otherwise, if one takes the benefit, the balance, or the majority, or the precedence, I eventually found the word, and um, we run the risk of running into pure quackery. On the other hand, we run into the risk of being insensitive <coughs> and not making the connection with our patients, which is necessary for us to be able to apply the treatments which they so need. My own personal interest and involvement in the Irish Medical Organization started following graduation. And I joined on the intern and doctorate night, like I'm sure most of my contemporaries did. And at the time, I didn't appreciate the significance of the IMO. Oh, I didn't appreciate the significance of the IMO system for allocating membership numbers, which is based, as many of you will know, on the first three letters of somebody's surname, followed by the first three letters of their first name, followed by a number. This has resulted in me being sad math. <laughs>